What are the pros and cons of letting my boyfriend join my all-star cheer team? Well, Mackenzie, I'm glad you asked this week's Mikey's Miracle question because there are potentially drastic outcomes based on this decision, some which could change the course of the cheer world. I think the best way to handle this is to do what we do in the business world and jump into a slideshow presentation and analyze these pros and cons one by one. Pro number one, you are preventing the development of a new cheer supervillain. Many supervillains come to be through a tragic tale of loss, betrayal, or backstabbing. In fact, if we look at the facts, 8% of all cheer supervillains come to be by an act of revenge. By denying your boyfriend Brandon's cheer application, the perceived betrayal could turn him to the dark side of cheerleading in which he seeks global cheer domination at all costs. You have to ask yourself if Brandon and the Brandettes are an evil dance force you can reckon with. Pro number two, it keeps Brandon involved with cheer. Think about what would happen in Brandon's future if you denied Brandon from your cheer team. Would he continue on with his cheer passion or would he lose interest altogether and drift through life with pointless hobbies such as loitering or answering questions on Quora? You need to analyze this decision because the choice to not let him join your team could ultimately break his spirit. Pro number three, you and Brandon are able to spend more time together pursuing a shared passion. In fact, there's nothing better than enjoying what you love most with a partner. However, at the same time, this could also be treated as con number one. With your combined cheer passion and cheer commitments to being all stars, you'll be spending a lot of time together. Is that something that excites you? Or is that something that makes you nervous? With so much time together, Brandon and you are gonna see each other at your highs and lows. But this takes us to the tenets of cheer. And what is the first tenet of cheer? If you can't handle me at my cheer worst, you don't deserve me at my cheer best. Is your cheer relationship ready for this test of spending so much time together? It's up to you to decide. Con number two, the pressures of social media. An all-star cheer team is going to generate a lot of buzz. Your dazzling routines will go viral on TikTok and Instagram. So how will that newfound fame affect your cheer relationship? Will there be jealousy if one of you gets more likes than the other? Or to combat this, do you have a combined joint cheer Instagram? These are important concepts to discuss because it takes us back to the tenets of cheer. According to the second tenet, cheer is social media because if it's not on social media, it didn't cheer happen. As we can see from the results of this survey, 68% of people consume cheer content from social media, which is a significant amount. So you need to determine how your cheer relationship can flourish in this digital age. Con number three, your boyfriend isn't all-star caliber. Now let's slow down a minute because that's a pretty powerful statement. How did we arrive at this conclusion? Well, Mackenzie, I'd like to introduce you to our Bonin analysis with none other than master of analysis, Hans Bonin. Professor Bonin is famous for saying, the adjectives are what tell the truth. Seek them, scrutinize them with the eyes of a hawk and the curiosity of a dolphin. Then you shall have your truth. Let's apply a strategy to this scenario. It's very interesting the way this question was worded. You didn't ask if your boyfriend could join your cheer team. You asked if he could join your all-star cheer team. While that might not seem like much on the surface, if we go cheer deep, I believe you phrased it this way because you have a high caliber cheer team and you don't necessarily think Brandon is high caliber himself. I think somewhere in your cheer soul, you are hesitant about Brandon's skills. And this goes back to the third tenet of cheer. The small splash can make the largest cheer ripple. You can't have any seeds of doubt to perform at an all-star level of cheer as those seeds could spread and tear your cheer team apart. I think you need to reflect and determine if deep down you are truly hesitant about Brandon's cheer skill set. Now, after all these pros and cons, I myself am leaning towards no, Brandon should not join your all-star cheer team. However, this is a very big decision. I think you need to spend at least a week truly analyzing the weight of these pros and cons, especially these highlighted ones below. It comes down to what's more important, having your all-star cheer team stacked with the topmost talent or preventing the creation of a new cheer supervillain. You have to look deep in your cheer heart to answer these questions on your own, but I believe you're equipped with everything you need to find the answer. Mackenzie, I wish you the best of luck with this, along with the success of your cheer team, regardless of what decision you make about Brandon. You take care of yourself, 
Happy New Year and God bless.